Well, hello there, brothers and sisters of the Vodblades universe. You're watching Vodblades Addict again. Welcome back to the channel. And after this short new intro, hope you enjoyed it, because <laughs> I did. Um, we're going to talk about the stats. Yeah, the stats are important. You have to get great stats. You have to be Unicom, super Unicom. Uh, to get some um, decent to decent clan to uh, have some great uh, friends, teammates, clan mates, tune mates, whatever you call it, uh, is it really that important? And uh, do you really have to uh, be like a great player? Uh, like maybe not a great player. You have to uh, have a great stats. Uh, to be effective uh, in the game and uh, that other players would uh, support you uh, during the game. Uh, well, um, I started off, uh, I will simply uh, give you an example uh, for as my, from my perspective as a 50 VR player right now, uh, how it was for me. Uh, like simply, I was learning basics for about 12k battles, more or less, it was about that. For some people, this is long, for others, this is uh, fast. It's, let's say, uh, everyone has its own um, point when it all clicks and you suddenly simply know what to do, know the basics, know how to read maps, uh, at least at basic level, you know, how to use the team, how to be a team player, how to uh, read the maps, lead the, read the uh, lineups for the teams, uh, how to be effective in your tank and so on and so on, how to use holdout positions. Every those um, basic skills you need to learn before you can uh, begin to learn faster because even though I played like over 70k battles right now almost 18 uh, 18,000 battles I'm still learning but it's uh, like going really really fast right now because when you know the basics um, you can simply go uh, and learn faster uh, because all you have to do then is just uh, to grind your skill in uh, certain positions, uh, in uh, tank control, in angling, just those tiny, tiny bits that you need to uh, really work on to be really, really effective. Um, you have some games in the background, I will put some games in the background just to uh, give you some, let's say examples, maybe not examples, to <laughs> give you something to watch uh, while I'm uh, while I'm talking to you, <laughs> so but mainly uh, there will be some uh, quite good battles in my opinion. Uh, those uh, some clutch battles. I hope you will enjoy them. Uh, but let's back to our uh, conversation because I really want to uh, make it like a chat for you uh, to share your opinions also on it. How do you feel about it? Because uh, like I said. Uh, for me, I about in about uh, twelve thousand battles, I had stats at level forty-eight point sixty-seven uh, percent win rate, which, uh, let's be honest, wasn't great. Uh, but after this period of learning, uh, after all this time, I um, gained all those stats quite fastly, and now after. Uh, Eight, almost 18,000 uh, battles, I have uh, 50.23 VR right now, and it's still growing, the average damage is growing, the uh, base uh, XP is growing, uh, average, of course. Uh, so all those stats are uh, slightly, slowly growing up uh, to, uh, to uh, higher values, uh, which is all great, you know, it's... Uh, it's all about working on your on your uh, playstyle. It's all about uh, getting those little tiny bits, just time after time, just to make it make you a better player than you are. Uh, and I decided not to re-roll my account. I couldn't. I could easily re-roll my account right now 
and I would have between 55 and 60 VR because my average uh, win rate uh, like for last 13 days uh, 30 days it's like about 56 percent uh, to 60 percent it depends on the day on the period of time how much I play how good are the teams and so on and so on uh, but I would get easily uh, more or less 55 to 60 percent account okay so uh, better yeah of course sure but is that really matter I will still play the same way as I play on this account with 50 VR, uh, like, what does that change? Uh, for me, uh, it doesn't change anything because you will play exactly the same on both your, of your accounts. Okay, the stats will get better, but that's all you will get is that uh, like wow effect for others that yeah, my Yana come or yeah, I have uh, 1.5k average damage, I have like 1000 uh, average experience and so on and so on. Of course, it's like, uh, like I don't care, you know, I don't care about it. Uh, people rant uh, about, yeah, you're a noob, you're, uh, you're, you can't play, or so on. It's normal in this game, just don't uh, take it so seriously, guys. Um, I played against many players with when I had like uh, when I was skilled enough to grow my win rate, uh, 30 day win rate into about 55 to 60 percent, and I still had below 50 percent win rate. And really, average stats in uh, average XP, average damage, and so on. And I uh, played against uh, 62, 65 year players. Uh, that uh, bragged that you're a noob, you simply can play, we'll look at your stats. And I said, bro, okay, you can have your own opinion. I don't mind, really don't mind. But if you really want to uh, know how I play, just let just simply go to the, like, no harm, no angry stuff, no shit. Just simply, let's uh, play in the training room, one-on-one, -on -one, in the same exact tank, on uh, like for two, three times, and let's. Uh, I, will, I will show you what can I, what, what I can do, what I'm capable of. And uh, in many cases, it was like uh, that we won exact same games. Like it was one uh, one uh, on one, like I won one, he won one. But it, well, those two games were really really close. So we uh, did like. Uh, a bit worse, either it was me or uh, him. Just simply, we were at more or less the same level of skill, of gameplay, and so on. And then this guy, like, like not one, but I, I wasn't really ranting. I wasn't uh, like uh, angry. I wasn't uh, try to prove them anything. I just simply want them to see that those players who uh, if you look at their stats are like less than average or average they can really play they can play of course not always not everyone but it's uh it's not common that you are gonna be like really bad player if you have bad stats because those stats can be gathered when you uh, was a newbie, you were a beginner player, and it's really, really hard uh, to work on those stats. Simply to regain them to higher levels. Because after so many battles, it's really, really, it really takes a long time for you to uh, get those stats to decent uh, numbers. But I decided not to reroll re my account. Uh, I just decided to work on my uh, stats, work on my account, just play the game, have fun with it until I reach uh, like uh, 55, 53, 59, I don't care. I, my goal right now is to uh, grind the stats slowly, but I really, uh, my, my like absolute goal is to get 60% VR. And I don't care if it's gonna take like uh, 15,000 battles, 
60,000 battles, even 100,000 battles, I will still stick to one and only account and just work on my stats, work on my playstyle and just have fun with the game. And that's the main point uh, of this uh, chat. I hope I, I'm not boring you with this, but uh, like many, many people really uh, just push, look at the game through the stats and that's all. Like you don't play to have fun, to grind new lines, to try some other tanks, stuff, work on your uh, skills with the different tanks. Uh, just to get some more knowledge, to get some uh, more uh, skill in certain tanks, certain situations and so on. They just play the only tank that will guarantee them uh, good stats, good damage uh, per game, good XP, like uh, good win rate. You know what I, you know what I mean? Uh, probably you know what I mean. It's not for fun, it's just for stats. And just tell me, what's the point of playing just for stats? If the tank is not totally not your uh, tank, like, I don't know, uh, you hate playing uh, tank destroyers, but you simply play WZ-121FT simply because it, uh, it will guarantee you the uh, high win rate with high damage, with high servability, and so on and so on, or playing the Smasher like for 10,000 battles, or the Dracula, Helsing, uh, just name it, just name the tank uh, and, and put it there, it's gonna be different for, for everyone, let's say, uh, but still it's the same uh, kind of uh, game, just playing for the stats, not for fun, not to uh, learn, just to make those great stats. And of course, if you're, ex if you're an experienced player, really experienced player, uh, that had like uh, 30, 40,000 battles on one account and then you re-roll your account and you're gaining like 70, 75% win rates uh, and you know how to play all these tanks and you then play just for stats, I can understand it. Because you really want to uh, have, let's say, a good stats but you know you can uh, do well in uh, all classes like the medium tanks, heavy tanks, tank destroyers, light tanks and so on. You simply know how to play them and now you're grinding just for stats. I can understand it, but it still doesn't change anything, guys. Like, uh, it works, it looks great on paper, you know, it looks great and everything, everyone is like, wow, you're a super Yonakam, you have such a great stats. But sooner or later, you would be able to get those stats even without re-rolling your account. Let's be honest. If you play enough, if you're skilled enough, the stats will come. Of course, you won't get like 75 VR or 80 VR uh, because I saw a few players with the 80 VR. Even I saw a guy with a 100% win rate over, let's say, 800 battles, more or less. I had some screenshots, screenshots somewhere, but I, uh, I won't be able to find it right now. Uh, if I will be, I will put it in uh, the video. Uh, but still, like, it, it, it's fun to, wa to look at it, because it's like, wow. <laughs> I haven't seen any other player with thousand, almost 1000 battles and 100% win rate. Like, yeah, <laughs> it really looks cool, it's uh, interesting and so on, but that doesn't really change anything, guys. Uh, like, I don't know how you feel about it. I would really like to know if you put me a comment um, how you feel about uh, this kind of, this kind of, uh, let's say, stat padding. Just, uh, just getting stats for having good stats, not for uh, having a skill, just stats for stats, you know? Uh, because Simply, I don't find any uh, certain, uh, I don't know how, how to call it, uh, thing just to get those grid stats. If you have, if you want to uh, have your uh, another account, make another account and play just for fun, just to see how good can you do.
do with a new account. It's all good. I don't rant about guys that rerolling their accounts for stats. I, I don't uh, really mind. If you want to do it, sure you can do it. You can uh, get your uh, great stats and it's, it's fine with me, okay? But please, guys, if you have those uh, great stats, just, just don't... Uh, just don't brag about them and don't uh, call other people uh, noobs, uh, idiots, morons, and so on. Of course, you have many uh, different teams in random matches. You can have a great team and you can have a totally crap team. And it happens to everyone, everywhere, all the time. Like, I had days when I had 40 VRs. 39 VRs in my teams and I had games when I have mostly 60 VRs in my teams uh, and I also had games when I was fighting against me and my uh, teammate like two days ago like we were fighting against uh, two guys uh, from Riot clan uh, if you don't know Riot uh, they are a European uh, server clan that uh, won or, or uh, I think they won uh, the uh, Twister Cup in 2017, as I remember correctly. Uh, and they both were uh, in the Death Star. I was in my T92E1 and my Amigo was in the Yaguru, as I remember. Uh, and they had better team. Both of those players were over 70 percenters and we still managed to uh, win. So, yeah, it's like, it's sometimes a skill, some luck, some uh, decent <laughs> set of stars uh, and uh, RNG is smiling upon you, but still it's like, it doesn't matter. The, the thing that matters is to play smart, to do your best and to uh, rely on yourself uh, more than on your team like your team can be good can be bad uh it's nice if they give you support it's great if you support them but most of all you have to do the best you can on your own to uh simply guarantee the win for your team and uh even though you, you there are situations when you when you can't really win because uh, it's simply impossible. Like at least 30% of the games you simply can't win. Like there are 30% games like you can't lose. It's, it's like there's no way you're gonna win like 100% battles, but you can still do great things just to try it. Uh, but let's go back to the subject uh, because I, I went like somewhere. Um, we still, um, I really want you to know that no matter how good your stats are, and I'm telling this especially to the guys with uh, 50 VR, uh, which are skilled players, we have, we, we have uh, lots of experience, but they're still struggling to get the uh, win rate up. It's really, really hard with such large amount of battles. But you can still do it. Uh, and it will take some time, of course, but don't, really don't uh, bother, don't worry about your statistics anymore. If you know you're a skilled player, if you know what you're doing, if you're um, playing with a team, for the team and for the win, then you will gain your win rate. Faster or slower, but you will. Just simply... Uh, don't put so much attention to the stats, just pure statistics. Uh, you don't play with statistics, you play with tanks, you play with skill. And that's the most important thing. Um, if you, I, I really want you to uh, give me a comments on, uh, on this one, because on this topic, because uh, I'm really interested in your opinion. Do you, uh, how do you feel about this? Uh, have you uh, noticed uh, this? weird uh, thing about guys, uh, mostly kids. I, I really uh, think that they're mostly kids uh, that uh, just really brag about those uh, statistics they have 
and call everyone idiots and, and so on. Uh, it doesn't... Uh, we all have those moments, you know, where we are totally irritated by the game because uh, nothing is uh, going uh, good and we keep losing games and so on. But even though, try to be more uh, positive to each other, like simply more polite, more positive. It really won't change anything. If you call someone, uh, 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 I don't know, I don't really want to call it here like a, like a moron, let's say, but it came uh, last, uh, last, uh, last uh, let's say, a uh, couple months, it was even, uh, yeah, worse, <laughs> let's say it was worse. Uh, but still, it won't change anything, uh, not for you, not for those guys who, who can't really, uh, who aren't uh, great players. Uh, the best thing you can do is simply Try to talk with them. It's hard right now after update uh, 6.7 because they have uh, like the, the the chat is for uh, set for uh, friends only. Um, so it's hard to talk with those guys. But at least during the game, you can always uh, say like, guys, what are you doing on this high tier? Just try to learn, try to watch some videos, try to play on lower tiers, uh, training rooms. If you really want to play higher tiers, use the training rooms, get your skill, get your knowledge about the tank and the gameplay and, and so on, and then come back and be a decent player for yourself, for your teams. It's not about you, uh, how fun it is to lose all the games doing like 300 damage in tier 8 game with, uh, I don't know, with a uh, uh, Borsik, like one shot with HE hitting tracks and that's all because you're gone. It's not good for you, it's not good for your team, it's not good for anyone. And some players, some guys I was talking to because I, uh, I talked with, uh, with the guys like this uh, but not like uh, attacking them, uh, then just saying that they are uh, totally useless <coughs> and so on. I just said, hey guys, what, why, why are you playing here? And some of the guys were like, well, don't tell me how to live, how to play my game. I said, okay, do it, do what you want, okay? Just, I don't mind. It's a game, it's a random game, it's a team dependent game. You will always get, get uh, guys like this. Uh, but at the same time, I was uh, talking with some guys and they uh, said like, yeah, what, what should I do? What I'm doing wrong? And I said, okay, let's play in a tune or let's uh, simply just uh, uh, go to training room. Let's try to teach you something. Let's try to give you some advice and so on. Uh, if you, uh, if you, uh, some of you are watching this, uh, you have problems with some tanks, uh, and you want to gain some skill, uh, join my Discord, I will uh, put the link below, uh, in the description of this video, and if you want to play with some, uh, good players, uh, like, I, I'm not telling I'm a great player, and I know everything about the game, uh, but I've, have many tanks from many lines, many uh, tank types, like the mediums, uh, lights, and so on, heavies, oh, just many, 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 like over 100 tanks right now in the garage. Many sold already, but I will rebuy them in time. Uh, still, I, if I can help you with something, if you want to ask me questions, if you uh, need any kind of help, uh, any kind of training, I will be glad if I have time and I think that guys from my Discord also will be glad to help you and to find a way to improve your skill. And of course you can always uh, give uh, uh, questions uh, and uh, chat with us on Discord if you have any issues with some uh, sort of problems, how to play the tanks, uh, or how to position the tanks. There's a cha uh, tank chat, uh, sorry, tank chat, 
uh, and when you where you can uh, talk about talk about issues uh, with your tanks, especially with those uh, who are uh, you're not experienced with. Uh, but you can always uh, find some help there, uh, and uh, as long as I can, as long as long as I'm available, I will also try to help you as uh, good as I can because simply it's. Uh, it's good to uh, just simply uh, talk with you guys uh, and help you out uh, so you can be uh, better players uh, for yourself, for the teams, for all the community because uh, the community now is really, really salty and it's, uh, it's, it's not like great. It's kind of worries me because uh, more, more and more guys are leaving the game, uh, the decent players, and we have a lot of newcomers uh, last days, last weeks, uh, which makes this uh, game even like even harder to play. Like you really have to deal with the enemy team and your own team <laughs> at the same time to win a game, uh, which isn't really. Uh, good in particularly good uh, because you can't really uh, have fun in the game you have to struggle to win you have to uh, get annoyed just bite your bite your phone your iPad your uh, I don't know your keyboard if you're playing on PC uh, because you just simply get irritated and and that's the main problem uh, and it's it shouldn't supposed to be like that. You should have fun with the game, not get uh, frustrated all the time. Uh, so, simply, if you need any any help, I will try to help you. Uh, and I hope I haven't uh, really uh, bored you to death, <laughs> because as I can see, I'm already talking like uh, for a half an hour almost right now. Oh, which would be a really long trip to go for you guys. But if you stayed uh, with me uh, to the end of this video and you still uh, hearing me, <laughs> uh, I will glad to help you. Thanks for watching and I hope you will also uh, uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, give me some uh, of your opinions on the topic itself, on the wind rate topic that's topic and so on uh, so that's basically all if you uh, wish to subscribe please subscribe if you like this video and you want me to make more of uh, this blade chat uh, I will do it if you like it uh, just give me a subject you will uh, want me to talk about and I will try to um, give it to you so basically thanks again for watching thanks for staying with me so long Take care, bye-bye, and catch you all on the battlefield.